What's up, guys? Welcome you guys to another episode of Project Review from Gamfi Army. And today we have a highly potential project with a fantasy team that coming out in the beginning of 2022. Let me introduce you, Luna Rush. But before we get into, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to catch up with new weekly episodes. We have lots of content to show you. Also, if you're interested in investing in GameFi, follow Twitter for new market updates, join our Telegram group, and discuss with us about potential GameFi projects. And follow some exclusive trading signal from experts. Well, Lunar Rush is a blockchain-based game with an idle system where you can fight other players, teamwork with friends. Win a tournament and earn money with your strategy and luck. This game also a multiplayer RPG NFT game that lets the user engage in a combat arena and profit from battles. So let me explain a little bit about the gameplay. With an idle system, you don't need to engage in the game the whole time, because the characters will automatically play for you. You just need to hand them up all the day and let them do their jobs and make money for you. So you will have time to do other things or just watch them. It's pretty exciting. In the game, it's great that you can participate in various game modes, including boss battle, where you can send your warriors and defeat the bosses to earn chests and open for tokens. B to B are also called combat arena. Instead of fighting boss, you will fight with other players in order to accumulate more experience points for your characters to level up. Tournaments, they are a big event for attractive rewards, and finally, leaderboard ranking. Apart from playing the game, you will also have the chance to buy lands and participate in guide system. The character design is pretty cute, cool, but it's not that attractive for me, so I won't talk much about the graphic design at the moment. I want to talk about the character system. There's up to 11 different warriors, and they possess a unique skills corresponding to each warrior. Each warrior has four main start, health, endurance, strength, agility. A slot contains weapons and skills depending on the level. This character will also divide it into different rarities from common to mythical, which will determine other elements like battle token limit, mass level that players can reach, and number of unlocked skill slot. The skill also divided into four different types, and it also guns the same thing to the weapon. You know there are also more, and all of this is really complicated, and I cannot explain all of that in this video due to the time limit. All I can say is that there may be some bad and also good things about this. Firstly, about the bad one, as it's too complicated, it may deter the players to participate in the game, because you know almost gamers love simple things, especially in crypto, and it's also difficult for the team to operate and maintain a sustainable system. But it also shows me that they really put effort in making this game with lots of useful information for investors and players. So I think that the game may have already been finished, and because they public almost all the information about the gameplay, and maybe they can go a long way towards the project. That's why we have to look at the team behind this game. There's not much information, but they're mostly from Helios Entertainment, a game studio in Vietnam. They make some mobile games. Not having impressive achievements, but they got good ratings on some gaming platforms. But what's really attractive to me is that they got Lam Ho as their advisors, a CEO founder of Saint Park, and also the founder of Bomb Crypto. You know, Bomb Crypto actually is among the most successful players in this industry, with a current market cap up to 300 millions, and the price still keep increasing. And I also see some familiar between Lunaros and Bomb Crypto. So you know, it really gives me some high expectation for the project. They also got investors by lots of famous ventures and capitals in Vietnam, like London, Singapore Capital, and global market like Bay Army, and get audited by very chance. The community is not that large, but they have been really active in posting and updating information for the community. The Telegram members have reached up to 70k members, which is pretty good. But I think there's not many of those real people in this group because you can see that it's just compliments and meaningless chat. So I think the community is pretty fragile right now. Well, moving on, we come to the most important part: the tokenomics of the game. So the game project only has one main token called Lust, and players need Lust token to open gacha for new characters, fortune to create higher rarity characters, 
level up by lands, participate in guide system and staking to earn passive profits. And you can earn from playing games like I have mentioned before, leaderboard ranking and the market. So I can see that in general the token got a lot of use cases, you need them in various game modes, and also you will have a chance to earn tokens in many ways like daily quests, boss hunt, etc. Therefore I think the gameplay is will attract players if they only want to make money. And also I can expect a sustainable financial loop in this game. They got Lamho as advisor who have made really successful game economy in bomb crypto. So I really has high hope for this one. According to the roadmap, they will launch the idol in the first quarter of 2022, which is really near, only about a few months, and after that, they will release B2E boss hunting. Personally, I think the game may have already finished and they have to release the game shortly after in order to bump the price token. It's just my personal opinion because they promised to release tennis and sell bosses this month, but until now, there's only one week left, but I don't see any. So a little bit worried right now. In conclusion, Luna Rose to me is some of potential gaming project, and I will put them in my watch list. But we have to wait for further progress to see whether the project is successful or not. But I really have high expectation for the game. What do you guys think about all of this? Do you get excited or worried about anything? Put a comment below so we can discuss together. By the way, we get free army. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this video helpful. We will catch up with you guys later. Bye bye.